please, just take what I owe you. You're in uniform. It's policy. Welcome home. Journal. August 15th. I've been home for over a month and the nights have become worse. I wake up to helicopters and shooting and screaming while Jess and our baby Sam lay quietly beside me, untouched, unmoved by the constant battle I'm fighting. I've been moving through each day like a ghost. I walk waiting for orders. Ready to salute, ready to draw my weapon, ready to protect my life or take another. talking about how war could change you. I didn't know that meant always wearing my uniform. Even as I sit here now in civilian clothing, I can kiss my wife, hold my son, and go back to work, but that uniform is always on me. Creased and fastened like the belt of a speeding car or a crashing plane. I have to get through this for my family. I can only hope my son will grow into a time without war. That his face won't grow as tired as mine. That his eyes will never see what I have seen. That I will never have to welcome him back to life after war.